Okay. Done. Started. Okay. Hi. So welcome to the Common Metrics meeting for August 8th. So mine is, is as the metrics are coming out of Common and any, um, any working group for that mm -hmm. matter, is how, how are these being manifest in tooling? So how are we seeing this in Grimoire Lab or Augur or somewhere else? And mm -hmm. like I said, it's not something that has to be solved right now. But one of my goals, like kind of more broadly overall, is to bring software a little bit more to the forefront this year, now that we have the version release. And I mean, I, there's been a lot of great work being done on the software, but really starting to stitch these things together. Yep. So that's maybe more of an action, like a long-term action item. And it might involve in, in trying to include folks from Augur in these meetings. Like I can reach out to Sean and Georg, I don't know if you're the person to talk to with respect to Grimoire Lab, you know, or if like Danny should, Danny's here a lot, but yes, you know, where we talk about those integrations. And, and Sean attends these meetings a fair bit as well. So yeah. I can, I'll just, I'll ping him maybe more regularly. So anyway, that's, that's really my on, on the to-do list. Okay. But like I said, I'm just kind of walking around to every working group saying the same thing. <laughs> so. <laughs> um, okay. So I will. I'll give myself an action item to keep this on the agenda. Yeah, that'd be great. Okay. Anybody else have any other thoughts on that, on the software bit? I mean, Gary, you're, you're at Baturgia. Are there any, do you have any thoughts on? So they've been developing this idea to have a weekly community meeting the hour before our weekly chaos call. So we're gonna use the same Zoom channel mm -hmm. and then work on the metrics, how they're implemented in Grimoire Labs, uh, talk about how to use it if we need to. Anyway, that, that's what we wanna do um, across all working groups and just have one dedicated hour every week to connect the software with the metrics. Cool. And so that, um, but that's a, like a Grimoire Labs community meeting? It's, yeah, we were okay. thinking about something like a working group meeting, just mm -hmm. a Grimoire Labs working group. Cool. But of course, bringing in the metrics from all the other working groups. And that's going to start uh, in September, just because of vacation and travel and so on during August. Cool. Yeah, the other thing, you know, Matt, that I was I was kind of thinking about when yep. it comes to the metrics being manifested in, in tooling is that um, on the one hand, actually a lot of the common metrics are already manifested in the tools. Great, yeah. Um, but we haven't really defined all of the metrics that are already manifested in the tools. Okay. And so I'm wondering if we need to do a bit of not really reverse engineering, but, yep. but really having a close look at some of the metrics that are being manifested in the tools and defining sure. them. And so, so, you know, in a lot of cases, we can probably just define them the way the tool uses them, mm -hmm. unless we have some kind of compelling reason to, um, you know, for some other kind of definition, and then we can, you know, talk with the, you know, the tool groups about that. But it seems like, you know, we've been kind of, in a lot of cases, sort of taking kind of more of a greenfield approach to the metrics. Yep. And I really think that we, we have a lot of this in the tools already. We do. Like organizational affiliation is a great, great example. Yeah. Um, but the problem is like tools implement it differently and there's a lot of stuff to think about. And so that one's really complicated. I suspect that there are some easier ones than org affiliation that have already been implemented that we can sort of dovetail on some of those. Okay, no, I agree. Um, maybe that's 
I'm trying to think if that would be in the session that Georg was talking about, or is that inviting those folks here again? Like what's the most efficient way to do that? I agree, like surveying the tools would be handy and trying to mark what's being done, but it's not what's not currently captured in the metrics. I think that's what you're talking about. Yeah. And um, trying to just think of the most efficient way to get that done. Yeah, but, I mean, oh, go ahead, but Garrick. I think one thing we need to do for this is to identify what those metrics are. That is something we as the working group need to do. And then we can go to the tools and to the experts who developed those tools to figure out how they have implemented it. Once mm -hmm. we know what questions to ask, they can help us. I don't think the other way around that we just go to them and say, hey, what common metrics do you have is going to yield much. No, I was more thinking that um, people like, like you and Danny who are involved in common metrics could take a look at Grimoire Labs, for example, and, and look at some of the things that we should be defining and give us some, some suggestions for how it's already being used in the tools. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking that we could use some of that to drive, um, drive some decisions around which metrics we define for the next release because it would be nice to be a little more deliberate about defining some of the metrics that we're already using and making sure that we have common definitions. So, so if we look at how Grimoire Labs is doing something and how Augur is doing something, are they, is it the same? Is it different? How do we define it? Um, but we might be able to, you know, and we could do the same thing with Sean. We could have him give us suggestions for, for what it is that we, we might want to focus on. And that would actually, I mean, do, doing that approach would actually help with that first ongoing action item, which yep. is how we connect, because to your point, I mean, if they're already there, <laughs> the connection's already there. There's no additional work that needs to be done. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like in some cases, uh, I worry that sometimes we sort of start over. I mean, I think we needed to do that with organizational affiliation, because that one's just really complex. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't want to do that for all of them. I if we already have some implementations and some some use in the tooling, we might as well start with those definitions. I would actually think that that was probably the approach, I don't know if it was quite this explicit, but the approach that say the evolution working group took, mm -hmm. because those are like you're talking about are kind of the straightforward metrics. They're things about pull requests, they're things about commits, they're things about reviews. And I know that Grimoire Labs and Augur were already doing these things anyway. Mm -hmm because they were the activity metrics that were pretty approachable. Um, what the metrics work then did was just helped articulate what those were yeah. in the tooling and just create a consistent language, which I think is exactly what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, maybe it won't be, maybe put it on the list to think about how the easiest way to get that done. Yeah. Or just from an organizational affiliation implementation in Grimoire Lab, uh, on the horizon is a new feature to be developed probably soon because Patricia has a potential customer that needs it, where it's a large organization that has multiple business units, so a more fine-grained analysis for employees in association with business units. Hmm. And being able to aggregate on both levels, the business unit level and then the group level and the business level. Oh, that's interesting. So I'm gonna share something that I shared yesterday in the weekly call. Um, Georg, you saw this already. So can you see that? So one of the things that I'm putting together is just this, like a, a table of the, based on the version one release, which is say coming out of the risk working group, they have metrics one and two, and then trying to understand where these are deployed. This is mm -hmm. just a total mock-up. This is not where, I suppose they're called metric one. So there's, <laughs> that should give you an indication of the mock-up. <laughs> um, DNI, same thing. And obviously continuing to work down all the working groups. So, what I, one of the things that I want to do is start mapping. So we've put these metrics forward. 
are they actually being deployed anywhere, right? Do we have gaps um, in the tooling or in the programs like around DNI that you know, we've, we've built these metrics out, but we, they're actually not in use as far as we know. Mm -hmm. So the, the goal is to find points of, um, points where work needs to be done to make that connection. And I think maybe to your point too is that maybe this table could be built slightly from right to left. My, my goal is to build it left to right, that I identify the working groups, the particular metric, and then identify the deployment. Um, maybe we could also kind of ask folks in the risk working group or in the DNI working group or in, um, I'm sorry, we could ask folks with the tooling where they might fit, you know, the things that are currently deployed where those metrics might fit with respect to risk, with respect to DNI mm -hmm. um, that we currently haven't defined. I don't know if that made sense. Trying to look at where Gramore Labs, you know, what are the metrics that they currently have that are deployed and how might those slot into the working groups? And I don't know what that might look like. Mm -hmm. So anyway, something that I'm kind of working on. No, I think that would be, I think that would be really good. So on, I've been thinking about that table as well. Yeah. And one, one point that I keep coming back to is having this table is great for figuring out, okay, what tools support it. But then I would also like to provide the next step of where do I actually find this metric? And how do I get this metric in Augur and more labs? Uh, similar to what we have in the metric definitions where we have step-by-step -step on how to find this metric. And maybe we can link to those known implementation sections or maybe need new documentation. But that's what I've been thinking about. How do we make that connection from seeing that the metrics are implemented to actually helping people use the metrics? Sorry, I was muted. If it's captured in the metric, like known implementation, like what you're talking about, it wouldn't be that hard to just link back to that in that anchor spot, if that's what yeah. you're talking about. Yes. Okay. And I don't even think that would take a new uh, column or anything like that on that table. Okay. Okay. Anything else on that topic? I'm good. Okay. And that so far was the only agenda item that we had. Does anybody else have any agenda items? I would also like to spend some time. Oh, I'm glad Sean joined. Sorry, um, I, um, I, I was on an auger meeting and it, it, it was, I was 15 minutes late before I realized I was late. So I apologize. No, no worries. Um, the only other thing I would like to do is build the agenda for next time. Um, so I wanted to talk a little bit about that, but so to catch you up, Sean, we just talked about how metrics are being manifested in tooling and how we can do a better job of making those connections. We didn't really decide anything. We just talked about a lot of stuff, which is in the notes. Okay. Um, anything else anybody wants to talk about in this meeting? Other agenda items? Oh, I'm good. I mean, we're not meeting in two weeks, I suspect. Because we'll be we, at LSS. We are, we are not. I saw someone in the notes made the executive decision to cancel it, which is perfect. <laughs> we're your executive. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, yeah, obviously we're not going to do it during, during the summit. I think that's, yeah, so it'll be September 5th, so, which is why I want to build the agenda for next time so we can start to kind of think about it. I think we should, for my agenda, we have responsiveness and geography. It would be great to put maybe not closure to those, but like 80% of the way towards closure. Mm -hmm. So I'd really like to get those, if, if we just focus on one or two, but 
whether it's me, I think I'm doing responsiveness metric. And then Danny's doing geography. So put pressure on either me or Danny to really talk I thought, through. That. I thought Danny was working on responsiveness. Oh, maybe I <laughs> maybe I flip flopped him. <laughs> yeah, and he is super swamped with work right now, and part of it is my fault. And he's gonna go on vacation here soon. So okay. I don't think we'll see progress before our next meeting on that. Okay. So maybe we focus on on the agenda for September fifth. Um, make progress on geography metrics. Yes, oh, that is me. Okay, so I'm gonna switch over to my other meeting. See okay, you see you later. All Garrett. right, thanks, Garrick. Yep. Um, okay, so I've added that to the agenda for September fifth. Make progress on the geography metrics. And I'll share it. I, I'll share kind of a rough sketch maybe a week ahead you know just a little bit ahead of the meeting so we can all take a look at it yeah that'd be awesome um and then the other thing that i was thinking that we should probably add to the agenda is maybe st uh starting on that uh what we just talked about a few minutes ago on the different approaches for for better defining some of the stuff that's already implemented in the mm -hmm. tools yeah. um so I was wondering, Sean, if you wanted to um, bring in a discussion for next time about some, some common metrics, things that you think would fit within common metrics that are probably already being um, implemented within Augur, but that, we have, but that no one's taken the time to yeah. um, actually define. Because what, what we talked about, and you probably read it. In the There's a lot of things but, implemented in Augur that haven't officially been defined. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So I was thinking that rather than kind of starting from the beginning, we should probably better define some of the stuff that we already have implemented in the tools, which gets back at, you know, Matt's concern that we don't really have a good connection between the stuff that's implemented and the metrics that are being defined. Um, there is so, a... I'll, I'll so I was wondering if you wanted to have a discussion next, next time about... Um, about some yeah. ideas for things that you've implemented in Augur that we should probably better define in common. Because realistically, if it's, if it's implemented, we've got the definition like 90% there. We just have yeah. To. Yep. yeah. Um, I would be happy to do that. And I think that where, where my brain was going was in the Augur API docs, which I should maybe make a bigger deal about where there is a chaos metric defined meaning to it. Um, cool. And you know where there's not, we don't obviously. But yeah, I'd be happy. That would be kind of a fun thing for me to prepare for, actually. Cool. So yes. Cool. Um, anything else we want to add to the agenda for September fifth? That's probably a pretty good agenda, to be honest. Those would be great items. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Um, the other thing that we, we sometimes do in this meeting that maybe we should just do is um, have a look at the issues and any, I don't think we have any pull requests open. Sorry, let me just find the chaos. Um, let me just have a quick look at the issues that are open and see if there's anything that we need to talk about. Okay. Um, so we do have one. So there's clarifying qualitative measures. Do you guys all see these or do you need me to I see them, but I'll drop them in the chat too. Okay, good. Because I, I use a different computer for looking stuff up than I do for running my video. Um, so, so, Georg opened this one that was about clarifying qualitative measures. Um, Part of it was that 
the a question about the difference between new contributing organizations and new contributor organizations? Yeah, this was one that kind of existed with respect to the release uh, for version one. Mm -hmm. So there was just, there were two bullet points in the released metric that were, they were kind of close and it was just clar clar clarity on that. Okay. Okay, so this is basically moved out of the um, candidate release comments because it was something that we needed to spend more time on. Is that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we just, because we needed to close the candidate release stuff to hit the date, but this can still be resolved or just addressed. I think Brian had made a comment that was fairly. Um, yeah, I mean, I took a stab at it. I. Yeah. My, I thought we were talking about the difference between organizations that contribute as an organization. Yeah. Versus, like, it is theoretically possible that, I don't know, you know, uh, a small startup could just have, like, contribute as a, as a, as a body. I'm not versus sure. A, versus I'm a also person. very willing to concede that this could have been a typo somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Well, so we, we took I'm your talking. description as acceptable and went ahead with the release, but that, and that's, yeah. that was just pulled out. And I like the, I like your follow up and I'm sorry I didn't, I didn't come back to it with all the travel I've been doing. It's been sure. a little hard to keep up. Yeah, I do. I do actually like, <coughs> I like your suggestion, new organizations that contribute to the project. So the first time we see an organization versus organizations that a new contributor belongs to. So the first time we see a contributor, what organization yeah. do they belong to? And I think it's worth making that distinction. Okay. Yeah. And so that can be remedied for version 1.5. Okay. I'll just add a comment on this issue. Okay. And I'll just, I'll, once you make that comment, I'll just issue the request. Okay, perfect. <clears throat> and I'll, yeah, I'll pull it in. Because honestly, I, I, can rem I couldn't quite remember what my original, or original intent there was. Oh, that happens to me all the time. Well, I don't even know what I had for breakfast this morning, so <laughs> <laughs> give it up. <laughs> <laughs> all right, perfect. <clears throat> Okay, other issues that we have within common that we should talk about. Um, new metrics being templated, geography. Yeah, those are just me. Oh, that's from June. Okay, I was gonna say, didn't we already have an issue for that? Um, organizational yeah. affiliation ready for working group feedback. Is this something we should just close? Yes. Okay, I'm just gonna close it then. And say this was this was done for the release. Yep. Okay. Discussion on responsiveness metrics. That's still um, open. And then the the other three were kind of big, um, bigger ones. Uh, uh, I think oh, the organizational affiliation one might be done. Yeah, and I think you can probably, uh, number five, I went through that discussion. I was setting up the templates. Uh huh. So you could say closed via, eight, I guess it's not via 18, but closed and now templated, discussion templated in 18, if that makes sense. Yep. Cool. So five can be closed. Okay, so I just closed five. Okay. And then I think we can also probably close four. What's that one? The uh, organizational affiliation metrics? Yep, I agree. Okay. Because it was done in the release. 
What is this large, Sean, what is this large scale thing? Or large scope issue? Um, I don't know. <laughs> you opened it. Um, Number six. Yeah, so I mean, I remember this and we talked about it quite a bit because um, basically, the, the gist of it is, is that when you're looking at organizational affiliation and you're using email addresses to do that, which is how most of us do it, there yep. are all kinds of things you need to think about. I see. Okay. Um, and so uh, this was, I think, sort of a, a, a place where we were having some of those discussions. Does that match with what you remember, Sean? Yeah. So the, that is really the question. So for example, an organization implementing Augur can maintain a list as long as it's not public of the people and gather it. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's against any GDPR rules. It's the public availability of it that is a question. And I, I think I was just, I was posing the question because it's, it's a, like, a, I don't know if we need to have a stance on it. I don't know if we need to have a policy about it. We're certainly working with a lot of individually identifiable information um, on the project, but we don't actually own or we're not directly responsible for any of it. Mm -hmm. But I don't, I don't know that we can, I would like to think that we, sh I think we should have some kind of uh, discussion, uh, policy, I don't know if it's a policy or a white paper or a, or a statement of how we approach that question or how we recommend organizations approach that question, or maybe even if we don't make a recommendation, sort of have some place that we can refer people to as part of the content, maybe even on the CAS website that represents how we're thinking about it. I mean, we don't have to do a lot of time and energy thinking about it, but I think, give, uh, I'll stop talking. I think given what we do, we should say <laughs> something somewhere about that. I think a lot of metrics, probably, not just this one alone, but carry some sort of caveat like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so I, I had thought more broadly about on the templates, including some header that was like known concerns or known. Yeah. yeah. I didn't mm -hmm. want to do it in this first version just because the goal was to get all of these out, <laughs> even in the first yeah. place, to get them aligned, but, and mm -hmm. which they, everything is now. Well, and I, yeah, and I don't, I don't know if we want it on every single metric or. This comes up pretty often on yeah. all metrics, like if it's, you know, okay. age, age of issue. There are obviously known caveats with that, the right. different handle issues in different ways, <laughs> different yeah. issues might be closed for without resolution. Yeah. I think this is one that's kind of a caveat for the whole enterprise. So okay. mm -hmm. maybe instead of including it on a particular, like every single metric, we include it as a statement or a, a link in the metrics release and it applies to all metrics. Oh, that basically say that all of these come with caveats. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I guess I really don't have a strong feeling about how we do it. I, well, I'm, I think, let me, let me summarize your point a different way, Sean, because I think I, I think I see where you're going with this. The, the problem is that uh, organizational affiliation is so incredibly complex that it comes that a whole bunch of different metrics are affected by this one caveat. Yeah. Uh, one one caveat. So yeah. if we had sort of a paper that described like how to use email addresses, how do you determine organizational affiliation? What are some of the things you need to think about? Because it, it is super, um, super tricky and super complex. And there are, you might want to do it different ways depending on what you're trying to get out of it. But the problem is this, this exact same issue is going to affect a whole set of metrics. Isn't there a section in your dissertation, Don, that we can just <laughs> <point> to? <laughs> like there might be it sounds like Don might have the paper we need <laughs> <laughs> i had my very own definition of how i address all of these issues which is now ours <laughs> <laughs> okay um that makes sense. The, sh the short answer is i use sorting hat and manually curated stuff and spent a lot of time on google figuring out where people worked but not on LinkedIn because you can't do that because of their terms of service. You can't even do it manually? 
No, you're not supposed to. Really? Not to say. Uh, <laughs> really? That's how I find people's information. Am I not supposed to do that? No, like, actually, if you, if you read the terms of service, it explicit, uh, explicitly prohibits you from using the information that you gain on LinkedIn for basically any purpose whatsoever. Um, <laughs> I think that, that that clause in their terms of service would never in a million years hold up in court. Um, but I'm not about to take it to court, so I'm just going to live within oh. their terms of service. All right. <laughs> this was a discussion that I actually had with uh, Gregorio Robles in, in Madrid. Because I was talking about how I used LinkedIn for all of this, and he was like, uh... And we sat there and looked at the terms of service, and I was like, oh. <laughs> That's really interesting. It is, yes. Um, assuming they haven't changed it. I kept looking to see if they had changed it while I was working on my PhD and they didn't. But, oh. um, but anyway, sorry, that's a total, total digression. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, my, my point is that, that this, there's a set of issues that are going to affect a whole set of metrics. And so okay. we don't want to duplicate that as a caveat on each of those metrics. Yep. Um, yeah. So maybe then just leave this issue open. Yeah, I do think, I do think Sean, I think you're, I think you're right that maybe we just need like some sort of, uh, I don't know if it's like a position paper, a white paper, uh, things to think about paper document yeah. somewhere that, and we could link to that as the, the caveat for, you know, this set of metrics that deals with organizations. I think it definitely should be framed as the things to think about because I don't want to be that guy, but I can easily see a corporation coming along and saying, well, we're going to do it our way, you know, yeah. and, and honestly, they'll probably be way more conservative. Yeah. And I do think things to think about is, is probably the right way to frame it. Cause I don't know that we want to take a position on it because there can be legal issues associated with GDPR. There can be. We'll just get ourselves um, sued if we take a position. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Exactly. Well, between Plus, the California thing and the GDPR thing, I'm already pretty much committed to as soon as I'm done with this data, I, I'm pitching it, you know, <laughs> the aggregate. Yep. Okay. Uh, so we leave, we leave that issue open and address it at some, some later point. I just put it in the notes. Cool. So the metrics that we have open are all things that we need to kind of work on. The qualitative measures, we should be able to, we can just close that one after somebody does a pull request to change yeah. that since we've already defined that. And then we don't have any open pull requests right now. So, so that's looking good. Cool. cool. Anything else we want to talk about before we, before we call it a meeting? I am all good. I'm good. I have stuff to talk about next week. Or two weeks, three weeks, four weeks. I guess it's four weeks. Four weeks. You got loads of time. Whole month. Wow. Yep. Cool. All right. But we'll see all of you in two weeks at Gascon. Yeah. It's in uh, 12 days. Yes. Yeah. Thanks, everybody. But who's counting? Who's counting? Uh, <laughs> okay. So, sorry. So, on another topic, you can all leave except for Matt. Um, Matt, do you know? Um, did gonna, we have. Did I stop recording? Oh, yeah. You can stop recording. I just have okay. a question about the welcome.